Mill. Hello everyone and welcome again to the new basic learning. Today we are going to understand about the chemistry. Uh, in the previous part, I have done the two parts of hit and trial method. Now, for uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, I know that after a long time, I am making the video of the partial equation method. But I have promised you that I will make the video of the partial equation method. So here I am, uh, I am with the partial equation method. Now this is the part third of our lecture series. Okay, the uh, chapter was the language of chemistry and now we will discuss the topic about the partial equation method. So in the partial equation method, it is simple, little bit different, difficult, but if you will take interest in this, then it will be more easily, you can understand and balance the chemical equations. So now, in the first part we will doing, uh, I have taken one example. Okay, so reaction of Ki, Ki is potassium iodide. And H2O2 that is hydrogen peroxide. Then H2O2 decomposes to give water and nascent oxygen. Okay. H2O2 decomposes to give water and nascent oxygen. Then nascent oxygen obtained ox oxidizes Ki. Okay. Nascent oxygen obtained oxidizes Ki that was potassium iodide in the presence of H2O. Okay, in the presence of, you have to keep this in mind, and in the presence of H2O, that is water, to give KOH and iodine. So, now let's balance this. H2O2 gives H2O plus nascent oxygen. Okay, then 2Ki plus H2O plus nascent oxygen gives 2KOH plus iodine. Then, on both sides, we will... The cancel what is common. <coughs> this is common and this is also common. Now what we are left with 2Ki plus 2 sorry 2Ki plus H2O2 gives 2KOH plus I2. So this was the first example about the partial equation method. Now we will do the second example. Now the second example is about the oxidation of H2S which is hydrogen sulfide by KMnO4 which is acidified potassium permanganate. Acidified means that means some acid is in the reaction. So now potassium permanganate reacts with sulfuric acid to give potassium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, water and nascent oxygen. Okay and then the second part nascent oxygen obtained above oxidizes hydrogen sulfide to sulfur. Now we will write the chemical equation that is 2KMnO4 2K MnO4 plus 3H2SO4 gives K2SO4 plus 2MnSO4 plus 3H2O plus 5 nascent oxygen. Then in the second part H2S plus nascent oxygen gives H2O plus uh, S that is sulfur into 5. Okay. Now we will cancel out what is common. This is cancelled by nascent oxygen. Now we will write the chemical equation. On the, in the last we will add all the uh, which is left. And we will cancel the common part. So we are left with 2K MnO, 2K MnO4 plus 3H2SO4 plus 5H2S gives K2SO4 plus 2MnSO4 plus 8H2O plus 5S. Okay, this is 5S. So this was the second example about the uh, partial equation method. Now I hope you can do the uh, partial equation method very easily. You have understood all the things properly. The two examples which I taught you here are very much clear to you. If it is not clear to you, then you can ask me in the comment section. So uh, this was the chemistry part. Now in the second part, I will be doing the next things about this chapter. So till then stay happy, stay tuned. Thank you for watching.